evening, evening. Sunday the 30th of November, last day of November, in Fostal by Stratford upon Avon. Jesus, the bread of life. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, you are looking for me, not because you saw miraculous signs, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they asked him, what must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. Amen. <coughs> Boy, but is it a struggle. So I'm at a youth hostel, so you meet people, that kind of. I was grilled for three hours by this little girl who turned out to be 35 years old with a 11-year-old autistic son from Hull in Yorkshire, or Humberside or whatever. Plus three more Christians here in this room. It's so offensive to meet people who see me <laughs> through their eyes <laughs> and get it so wrong. I mean, so many things this little girl said. I love God through Christ. I am a through and through, died in the wool, Christian. I didn't say I'm a good Christian or a bad Christian, but I am a Christian. Well, how about bothering to listen to what I have to say? Or, better yet, just listen to Christ's words. Anyway, having got that off my chest. <sighs> I chose to come to a youth hostel, you know, I mean, it's a different atmosphere. This place has a peaceful spirit. The beautiful big trees in the garden, these big rooms. I have here a beautiful great big proper old fireplace and you know big old fashioned sort of rooms belong to some businessman or whatever. But it's a big old kind of Victorian place. Fine. Okay. So it's a hostelly place too. Oh, Lord. To let your light shine through me. To put my lamp on a stand. I can only speak as I am. But completely, totally, utterly, solely guided by you, my Lord. Without you, I am nothing. I've known this for years. Without your spirit in me. Mm. Well, take each day as it comes. This financial business is pretty... I'm listening to the analysis on the old BBC Radio 4... That's pretty grim listening for any normal working people, quite frankly. And bankers get, you know, a golden parachute. <laughs> I love you, my Lord, with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, and all my strength.